okay now this is the continuation video now in the last video you must have seen that how i have uh, projected the curve on the surface and uh, here what i have done is if you can see this purple line earlier it was black but right now it's purple all i have done here is i've gone to property and here i've assigned earlier it was black but uh, i have to this line i have assigned a purple line so, so I have selected this line here. Uh, just go to layers and I have locked this layer so that is why it's, it wasn't getting selected. So I am just going to select this line here and uh, click on curve and just uh, move this to the purple line. Okay. And to the above line I'm just going to lock it I don't want it to move okay while making the ellipsoid so I'll be making one stitching line here so what I'm going to do is select here select the stitching line and uh, I'm just going to click around curve select the line and uh, just probably attach so I'm just gonna select line here one line and just attach it here like this this okay so what i have done is basically selected a quite a taller one so we're gonna do this again so select the ellipsoid around curve and uh, i have to be on this line here select the curve select this line select a point here maybe here just create a line like this and here we create a stitching line okay so this stitching line is perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the object so this is my object go to transform and here um i'm going to go to array and here i can go to a long curve here it will ask me select path curve so i'll select the path curve and here uh, there's going to be a dialog box the number of items is 1213 and the distance is 0 0.199 it's a free form so that you know it falls but you can try road like and no rotation also if your stitching lines are not not coming in alignment so i'll click ok and these are my stitching lines if the gap you feel is uh, way too much what you can do is you can bring them closer i'll just select this bring it a little closer Let's try this once more. So this time I'll go array curve and this is my base point. Uh, it's supposed to be free form and let's say the distance I maintain it to keep it to one and click ok so this is the distance that it's showing and i think it looks perfect uh, you can do your own this thing now let's after doing this now this uh, you know the uh, layer that i have worked on it is helpful in other ways also like suppose uh, i'll be creating i'll be adding a color to the stitching line 
so it will help me quite a bit so now let's just start making the buckle so for the buckle i'll go over to the top view panel and here i will go to the rounded rectangle select center so maybe i'll just select a line here like this click six uh, that's the length i want click enter and five this is what i'm looking for and i'll click uh, enter and here i can just make my radius like this okay uh, i can make it rounder by rebuilding the line make it uh, a rounded curve but at present i don't want to do that and here what i want to do is i want to select this control c control v and i just want to click shift hold on to shift click on this small square and bring a manual offset in the center like this okay now uh, now what i want to do is i would like to give it a slight curve so i use my control point curve and i'll start from here and just maybe start making my curve like this and click enter okay and uh, i can move this one in the center like this and uh, here what i want to do is i want to give this a bit of a curve so from two views curve from two views so here what we have to do is i'm going to uh, go over here and i'll click on curve from two, two views select this curve and select this curve and it's going to give me this view and i'm going to do the same thing so right click select this curve and select this curve so it's going to give me a different view together so here what i'm going to do is select this down below and uh, select this one and i'm going to hide it i do not want to see this okay now i would like to uh, sweep this so here what i'm going to do is i will again take the rounded rectangle this time around the curve and click on this curve and i'll use a ballpark idea of how i want at what width i want my uh, thing and click alt if it's not coming out right just click and maybe like this yeah so i'm clicking alt in case i'm facing some grid problem or something like that okay and here also i'll do the same thing so rounded right click around curve and uh, select this curve and just click and maybe this one i want a little smaller and uh, yeah like this like this and here i will use my sweep command so let's say i just want to make this a little smaller yeah so go to surface sweep to rail first one second one first second and press enter press enter and here i need to close sweep and click ok so here i have a nice uh, looking i can change it as well if i feel that you know this is looking too big or something like that you can make it uh, smaller as well but i think this is fine so here if you see there is too much of a lift you can you know try different uh, uh, kind of uh, you know uh, those uh, the the rounded curve 
to how much radius rounded you want so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this part and i'm going to move this like this and i'm going to select this and i'm going to move this here move this as well move this as well so that you know my uh i'm going to add here i'm going to add pipe to it so here i'm going to add the uh, rounded cap pipe so i'm just gonna select this line i want my pipe to be smaller so just click alt and select one here and i'm gonna select one maybe a little bit smaller select here and click enter so you get something like this and you're gonna make this smaller if you want so i'll probably just shift and select right now it's going to scale it uh, in all directions which i don't want so let's say if i want to sweep this one more uh, i want to pipe this one more time so i'll just um, this time i may give a measurement to it so um, i'll take the rounded cap select my line here and here i will type in 0.2 click enter and again i'll go here and type in 0 0.2 and click enter and click enter again so this is going to give me a proper size okay now uh, once this is done i will just take this one and hide it and i will uh, take all of this and push it inside here and see whether this will fit properly if it's not fitting properly what you can do uh, to this is you can just select it and you can sweep one more time in case you're not very pleased with the kind of shape that has come but this is how you basically sweep so just get an idea of how it is done so yeah so this is this goes inside now i've got to have a boolean in the center so i am going to use a rounded rectangle like probably i'm gonna do is use a rounded rectangle here i just probably i'll just take this and just make a make a rectangle like this okay and uh i'm going to just uh, elevate this and uh cap it so i'll click cap and I'll select this, click enter. It's capped from both ends. And I'll just put this inside like this. Push it in like this. Take it in like this. And here I can just probably add it like this. increase the scale increasing the scale from here this is how much i want yeah so i probably just take this a bit push it up so that we can do a nice boolean here okay i'll just i just might need to press it a bit and take this and just 
make it in the center like this now for the boolean so i'll do the boolean difference select uh, the object uh, not this so if you have selected something you can what you can do is just click control and uh, use the boolean difference again so i'll select this uh, repeat boolean difference so i'll select this part it's locked so i'm not able to do it so i'll select it and uh, i'll select uh, press enter select this press enter so we have a difference that's coming out like this okay now uh, i can also do, do do another thing i can just move this if i want i want this to move a little inside so i can just push it inside like this or you can push it out as well depending on how you want it so um now the next thing that we have to do is we need to add some studs on the sides so i will take this cylinder select it and i'll probably just go over here just make a line like this and just probably add something like this here and i'll make sure that you know this probably goes yeah, so this is fine right now. For this, it is fine because these are studs that are going to be added. So, one thing I need to place it like this. And uh, what you need to do for duplicate is you just need to click Alt and click on Arrow and it will get duplicated here. This way, like this. So... Probably add it closer and here also I'll add this. And I'll add uh, one more. So I'll click Alt and just bring it to the center like this. Now, uh, I also need it over here, so I'll click Alt and I'll just place one here. And this one, I'll just push it a little. So it's, so if you can actually see, this one is. So in case you finding a little difficulty in your zooming, so just select zoom area and like this is the area I want to zoom. So you can just right click and select this again. So you'll be able to see what you are actually doing. Right. And here. Um, so I'm just going to place it here in the center like this. And I'm going to duplicate it. So just probably see how much distance do we have and uh, one I'll place here second I'll place here third I'll place here this is the fourth one and I'll do another one five okay now I'm going to do the boolean um, difference here so i'm just going to um going to go over here going to go to boolean difference select the surface and select this select this select this select this select this and press enter well actually you don't do it together so we'll do this again so i'll do the boolean difference so first i need this surface click enter then i'll select this select this select this select this select this and press enter so this way it's going to bring a hole and 
uh, if I want to do fillet edge so I'll go to fillet edge selected and here this is very important because in the render this will look very soft and nice if you do this fillet edge click enter press like this press enter again so this you have uh, I'll show this once in the rendered view as well so we go over here and we do the fillet edge here so in case you're finding difficulty in zooming this all you have to do is click zoom window and click on this area like this and you can just right click and do this one more time right click and zoom this one more time so <coughs> here we have these three areas now we what we do is use fillet edge select this select this select this click enter enter once more and you have a drivet that is moving around here okay now uh, 